how you can get easy wins as we look at the best weapons, loot spots, and get ourselves every oh single medallion. As I've located one of the best places to start your game, located in one of the new areas of the map that will give you an incredible start to help you get your very first win, unlock that victory umbrella. There's just so much new stuff in this season, some of it really strong, some of it not as quite as good, and you need to know what you're doing. Here, you'll also find a job board. These are divided up into four jobs now, this one being the treasure focus job board. You can actually get yourself two rare chests nearby. The other drop boards include bounty, vehicles, and airdrops, but this will always be spawning here for you, including a load of chests, and since it's not a named location, you won't find too many people landing around here, although someone is trying to sneak around to have the new shotgun in my hand. This new shotgun is very, very popular right now, and extremely strong. Bam. As you can see, fast firing and also a golden chest here. You want this golden chest and look at this, a purple version of a shotgun, heals and it will also drop either Zeus's mythic thunderbolt, which we've got here, or the wings of Icarus. Both of them being, well, different in their own ways. We'll use the bolt since we've got it. I would have preferred the wings, but oh, someone's near here. Let's use this on them. So fire up in the air. Slam down some incredibly powerful attacks that are really good in builds because they go through walls and through builds, making them extremely useful for taking anyone down that may be camping. Over in no builds mode, you are very exposed. You float in the air when using this thing. It does only have three usage, so it's fun to mess around with. And maybe you're playing duos, trios, or squads. Good for one of your teammates to have it. But, as I said, when I get that golden chest in this location, I'd prefer the Wings of Icarus, and we'll be looking out for that as well to add to our loadout. This new season has a new assault rifle, a new DMR, shotgun, and SMG. Someone else is trying to push up on me here. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Final hit. Bam. And shotgun. The only thing is you've got to be careful with the shotgun is that it fires very fast and deals good damage but only has three shots until you've got to reload it and you do not want to be caught in a situation like that where you suddenly have used all of your shotguns and you're not aware of it. So make sure that you're using it sparingly and always reloading it. It is the go-to shotgun for a lot of players right now. I'd highly recommend it. Really, really good bullet spread. High damage, and although the Frenzy shotgun is still in the game, I'm loving this new shotgun. Right near here is also the brand new bunker. This thing is called the Weapons Bunker, but will not open up until later in the game. This person got the wings I want. Bam! See you later. Some big damage going out there. So that weapons bunker will be where you can go in. Module weapons, just like last time. The weapon bunkers are not in the boss locations. So they've been switched up, but we can't access it straight away. Meaning no one will be modding their guns until at least the second storm circle coming in, which is when it will open up. We've now got ourselves pretty much an exclusively new weapon loadout. The DMR is splitting opinions. Some people really like it. Some people aren't too keen. But I want to use all of the new weapons and focus on to let you know how you can use them and which ones are good and which ones aren't quite as good. Things to note with these wings, they are an incredible mobility item and you can also use them to attack. You can glide around. They do have a usage to them. As you can see, that number is slowly dropping as I glide. But if you glide in the air too long, your wings will burn and you will fall. And also, if you get shot, you can also be shot out and fall to your death as well. So be careful when using it. Both Zeus's new mythic and the new Icarus wings have their advantages and disadvantages, but I'll be keeping hold of this as my new mobility item for the season. Another chest at the foot of the statue you here and some heels. Now, as you can see, chug splashes are in game, so I'll chuck that down, but pick this up. We've got the all-rounder forged assault rifle and a vehicle here. Basically, we've got ourselves a ton of loot. We've got ourselves whatever we need to go and now take people down and a vehicle to traverse around the map. So we head towards two mythic locations with two bosses. We've got Mount Olympus. We also have in the corner of a new Baller's Battleground. Someone here does have one of the medallions. I want to pick up all four medallions, if I can, in this public game to show you how they all work. And Peely... Oh my god, one HP. There we go. Because, does this guy have a medallion? Mm, oh, someone's got the wings coming in. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up! This assault rifle slaying someone shooting me in the back right now. Let's be careful. Both of the new areas contain two bosses with their own mythics and own medallions. It's really cool this season. You actually go ahead. Is that someone up there? I think that may be him. 
is getting a little bit scared. You actually push down a statue of the bosses to activate them, to spawn in, to then battle them, and then take them down. It is really, really cool. These guys do often have their own little minions, sometimes wolves to their side as well helping them, making them a little bit harder to take down. But when you do, they'll all have their own mythic weapons and medallions, four in total, that all... Ooh, let's get a new angle here. Let's go, baby. Shotgun out. Bam! Bam! And this guy is the first medallion. He has got Aspect of Combat from Ares in the bottom right corner, an Ares Warfare Assault Rifle which I'm going to keep hold of and I am really enjoying right now. I'm also going to be covering the old weapons, by the way, because you can see they've just picked up a sniper rifle and the Frenzy uh, auto shotgun is still in game. But in fact, none of these weapons have been changed. So if you like something from the previous season, they're still going to be very, very viable and still really useful. And you, you shouldn't forget about the last season. Cars are still super useful. That's why I'm still in one. The Frenzy Auto Shotgun, the Sniper Rifle, all still really, really powerful. But what do the alternate options look like with these new weapons? Oh! That's definitely the other guy that has just come out and taken down Zeus. As he flies towards the ground, this guy should have our other medallion sniper in hand. Oh, baby, let's go. Come on. We already have both the medallions from this side of the map. We've now got ourselves Zeus's medallion and also the Huntress DMR, which is the weapon that you will collect from Zeus. Uh, I don't actually like um, the scope they give you on it. It's a bit too zoomed in for my liking. It's going to keep hold of the assault rifle, the mythic assault rifle, in this slot for the moment. As we slowly build out our loadout. You know what? I'm going to swap it actually for my sniper. We've seen the sniper enough last season. As you can see here, with the storm circle coming in, that still isn't open, but it will be open very, very shortly. But we're going to get stuck in storm if we're not careful. I'll show you guys what the mod benches look like when you look down there. Lots of loot. Lots of customization. Um, it's a little bit different. The sights, for example, are now a little bit changed over last season. There's also a thermal scope that you can get, which will allow you to swap between thermal and non-thermal vision. And also a new speed grip that allows you to move faster whilst you're aimed down sights. I can spot someone here. Perfect distance to check out this bad boy. So, oh my god. Bullet travel. Obviously, got to be careful. Baby, let's go! Now for the medallions I picked up already, we have got the aspect of combat, which will do increased damage at range. Perfect combination for that gunfight I was just in. An aspect of speed, allowing me to run and jump faster while sprinting. Can't lie, I really thought this would actually put me off and not be something that I like, but it actually gives you basically free mobility without needing any items just as you're running and flying around the map. And there's still two more medallions for us to get. Collecting all four, I actually don't know what will happen, so we'll have to see. But I do know that getting all the abilities at once will make you super overpowered. Now, this new shotgun is extremely strong, very straightforward to use. I like it. This will be my go-to shotgun for the season. It's worth noting, though, that for the new assault rifle, Though it does have high damage and very fast fire rate, damage rate and the drop off of it, it feels more like an SMG. And I've been using it more like an SMG. So it's really strong in these close range situations. The damage, the recoil is very manageable. And comboing it with this shotgun means that when you do fire those three shots from the shotgun, you can swap out to the assault rifle and feel really confident that you'll be able to hit the person easily and fire out a lot of shots together. Here you can see all of the auto attachments on the Huntress DMR, a very long scope, basically making a sniper hybrid out of it. But if you want a slightly lower scope on it, the mod bench will allow you to do that. And you can see on the map now, all the mod bench locations, the new bunkers are marked and show that they're open, available for you to access, meaning you don't have to go necessarily to a really highly populated boss area anymore just to mod your weapon. Dude, I love these abilities. My legs are on fire, man. Guys, do not underestimate everything you learned from last season. As a zero builds player, I'm getting in a vehicle and I'm taking advantage of it. By the way, this area here, which was ruined reels, is now restored reels. And look at it. Back to its former glory. Looking fantastic. But the armored vehicle here is going to be so, so useful for me getting around the map. Acting as a portable piece of cover as well for me to shoot at other players and be able to hide behind it and just be fantastic mobilities. We've got some more gunfights going over here. Let's give this DMR a little bit of a go at a slightly closer range. Here's one person. Oh, Jonesy. Sorry, mate. 79. Ooh, no scope. Hello, hello, hello. Bam. 
See, it can be a really good hybrid weapon if you want to sacrifice the slot of having that sniper. A lot of people may not want to. It depends on your play style, but it can deal some serious, serious damage. The other medallions have been held by a single other player, I believe. So we'll have to fight them at some point, take them on, and get all four medallions at once. Now, the floating island is back. I've actually not seen anyone capture it yet, so we're going to claim it for ourselves and see what incredible loot it can offer us. We're at 12 elimination, 12 players remaining. We're on to a hot game right here. Let's head on up and get ourselves this place locked down and loaded. One thing I know you guys are always interested in at the beginning of a season is ranking up your battle pass and get a load of XP nice and early as well. Creative mode always ends up being one of the best places to jump in and have some fun and do that. So on screen here, you can see the map code for Zombieland, one of the maps that me and my team have put together that will allow you to get a ton of XP, rank up that battle pass really, really easily, and all of the new weapons are available in creative straight away this season, and you can mess around with them and get used them before jumping into battle royale and then using them against actual players now i'm seeing the guy the medallion yeah he's over here moving closer to me this scope is great but also the bullet drop it's actually got pretty fast bullet travel time but the bullet drop we've got to consider as well this person is definitely trying to take me on it's gonna be a medallion battle here i think oh someone else is always oh, using zeus and medallion from zeus's ability that's the issue with it. If you stay still, you can get shot. He's dead. I think he's dropped the medallions, and I don't think the other players picked them up. Has he got one, or has he got both of them? I thought he had both of them. Yep, there's two. We can get another one, another one. And the Mythic Shotgun. There's also Mythic SMG there, but I'm not interested in that right now. We have all four medallions, people. All the abilities to our name. Three Mythic brand new weapons. This is... Okay, don't go into that whilst the wings are active. Let's head back on up and capture this point and claim it for ourselves. We are the most overpowered person on the map right now as we complete capture this. What loot are we going to get? We now have the aspect of Siphon. And the aspect of agility will give us quick dash bursts from Cerberus. And his mythic shotgun is what we've added to our loadout as well. Guys, right, so for that easy XP, I'll leave the Zombieland map code in the description. Or you can just search Zombieland to play it yourself. Rank up and try the new weapons. It looks like there's no new weaponry here, but it will give a refresh to my wings, which at end game is super, super useful, especially being on top. I'm scared of this person. Okay. The, the good thing is, I'm like a sniper. You can just spam it. Like, look at that. 123 damage headshot. 70 to the body. This thing is just fun to use as well. Oh! Sniper versus DMR, and we can just spam away, moving left to right, having a bit of fun with it. I literally have... This person still can take me down. You know what? It's not worth being headshot sniped randomly and taken down. We're in a fantastic position right here. 13 eliminations, the best mythics, heals, and mobility items, all to our name. Right now, we can move around the map super fast. That headshot just deals so much damage, 123, wiping out pretty much half their health in just a single shot, doing a little bit more damage because of the medallion we've got that increases damage over range as well. We're zipping around with fast feet. If I was focusing on a mythic to get, it would probably be the Cerberus shotgun and the Cerberus Medallion partnered together as well. Someone else taking down top four situation. It's time to just play it slow, calm, and collected, having played a decent amount of ranked last season, which, by the way, will now be harder to hit the unreal rank for any of you guys that are going for it. It'll be a little bit more difficult this season. It is all a case of positioning, getting ourselves into the best next zone possible. Although I do have the best weapons in the game, other people could have equally great legendary weapons to their name. They definitely won't have the medallions, because those are mine, but let's, again, aim for that vehicle, put ourselves into a fantastic position, and focus up to make sure we get this victory royale. Ooh, cheeky little barrel roll there. You can be evasive whilst using those wings as well to make sure you're not the super easy target flying around in the air that people's just going to shoot you out at. Now, I think if I go over this bridge, someone could easily just snipe me out of the driver's seat. I'm actually going to take the lower road here. Someone's actually decided that the lower road is the better idea, apparently. But the good thing is I've got my vehicle here. Use it as a little bit of cover. Get that assault rifle out. Big damage. Love to see it. It just feels more like an SMG. It's powerful with that kick attached to it as well. I like and prefer just like the partnership it has with my shotgun. 
I was basically a striker AR and frenzy shotgun combo guy last season. But this new combo is definitely my favorite and the one that you guys should be rocking as well. Where are the final two players? We moved ourselves now near Grim Gate. This is where we find the other two bosses, the other two medallions, both Hades and Cerberus are on this side of the map in a slightly darker area. I just don't like how it's a little bit tricky to spot enemies and see everything going on here. It's a little bit more spooky. I prefer the Greek god side. That's why my favorite drop shop spot is over there as well. But there's equally great loot and golden chests on this side as well. Lots of green water, but where? Oh, 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 we got footsteps. Turn on visual audio if you have not already, guys. It's one of the most OP things in the game. You can still hear. It won't change any of your actual audio settings, but it will mean... Now, that is a chance for us to go in. 125 to the head. One shot. DMR. Shotgun out. Ooh, see there? Siphon. 50 HP straight back to my name. There's the other player. There is the other player. Please give me a second to put on all of my juice. Is that SMG shotgun combo working perfectly again? The DMR dealing that initial damage that I need to push on in. Guys, if you found this video informative and useful, please spend a second clicking that like button. It's the best thing you can do to show support on the video. If you're picking up the battle pass, hop in code Ali A. Shout out to everyone on screen that has done it. He's trying to fly away, but I ain't letting it happen. Victory Roy out, people. With all those medallions to my name, that is how you do it. On screen here, you can see the Victory Royale umbrella you get for getting a win this season. You can check out another Fortnite video by clicking on screen here. Go check out Zombieland. Link in the description for easy XP. And whilst you're down there, join the Ali A Discord as I'll be doing a ton of videos with you guys this season. So join it to come get involved.